Today I am going to talk about magnesium. What is magnesium? What does a lack of magnesium in your body feel like? How do your levels decline as you age? What are the benefits of taking a magnesium supplement? And I will also explain the different types of magnesium and what the most common types are and how they affect your body. Okay, so let's start off with what is magnesium? Magnesium is a mineral that's involved in more than 300 chemical reactions in the body, including making ATP which is the energy currency of the body. It's involved in DNA and RNA synthesis. It helps regulate muscle contraction and relaxation. It's also involved in the electron transport chain, which is the conversion of fuel to ATP in both aerobic and anaerobic metabolism. How do you become deficient? Well, if you eat a poor diet, a diet that lacks magnesium-rich foods and you don't supplement, over time as we age our bodies become deficient. It could also be caused by low hydrochloric acid in the stomach, which then prevents you from absorbing magnesium in the small intestine. Also, if you have too much calcium, that can also block the absorption of magnesium in the small intestine. What does a magnesium deficiency feel like? Well, you're going to have low cartilage repair, so you're going to have pain in your lower back. You're going to have muscle cramps, especially in the legs. You're going to have fatigue, insomnia, anxiety, irritability, a loss of appetite and constipation. As we age, our levels of magnesium decline because our ability to absorb it from food declines. It's also true that the amount of magnesium in food has gone down because the soil that these foods are grown on are depleted of magnesium. Now, when you take a magnesium supplement, what are the benefits? Well, magnesium is known to reduce the risk of chronic diseases like diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, and even some types of cancer. It can also help you sleep, but there are several different types of magnesium that you can take, so I'll list them out. The first one is magnesium citrate. This is the most common form and it's very bioavailable, meaning it's easily absorbed. The problem with this is that it can be irritating to the stomach of some people, so you'll probably have to start with a very small dose and work your way up. Another form is magnesium deglycinate, which is a little bit more gentle on the stomach, but not as but available. Then we have magnesium aspartate, which is also a little more gentle on the stomach, and magnesium chloride, which is very bioavailable and it's usually absorbed through the skin as a cream or an oil. Then we have magnesium sulfate, which is Epsom salt, which is actually absorbed through the skin, not through the digestive tract. And then we have magnesium torate, which is good for people with high blood pressure because it helps to relax blood vessels. One of the most common types of magnesium supplements is magnesium citrate. This form of magnesium is highly absorbable and it's a good choice for people who have trouble absorbing other forms of magnesium. It can help with digestion and prevent constipation. Another popular type is magnesium glycinate. This form of magnesium is also highly absorbable and it's a good choice for people with sensitive stomachs. It can help with sleep and relaxation. Remember, supplements are not a magic pill. They're meant to complement a healthy diet and lifestyle. If you like our content and would like more daily videos about how to improve your health and energy, it really helps the channel grow if you would like and subscribe.